Hi, this is Shane, and welcome to another episode of the Old MacDonald Legacy Challenge. And last week we left off with um, Amber. She, we left her at her house, but just after I stopped recording, uh, Mitchell, he called, or maybe you call at the end, I'm not sure, but they, he called, and he invited her to go to the Romance Festival, which I thought was pretty cool. So she went with, Amber went with uh, Mitchell. Is Mitchell right? I can't see his name. Mitchell, that's right. She went with Mitchell. And as you can see, things are getting interesting. They've only had a couple of exchanges, but it's going up. So, yeah. Let's see what happens while they're at the Romance Festival. Oh, yes, because Mitchell's part of Knights of the Hedge, and so is Amber. But she seems to be pretty smitten. So, which is, I think that's good. Ask to be boyfriend. Should we do that? Should we start the, the episode off with a bang? <laughs> yes, he wants to be her boyfriend. Cool. That is... Seeing that Amber's unflirty, isn't she? What's her traits? I'm pretty sure she's unflirty. No, she's a loner. Okay, she's a loner, but she likes Mitchell. Which is fine. That's cool. And we've already um, got the, the, the event. We've done what we're supposed to do for the event, which was to drink tea. I don't know if you actually get anything for the event. Should we get you two up to be... Let's see if we can get him so that he can move in. Um, express fondness. First kiss. Oh, let's go across a little. Yep, we. it's happened. Okay, so the romance festival... Oh, okay. There you go. Describe Ferty dream about Mitchell. Kiss hands. Joke about getting together. They're doing pretty well, actually. Romance. Be enticing. Um, did we just have the option to... Oh, no, that's because there's an event going. Let's see what other romantic more choices. Heat of the moment a proposal. Well, that should be interesting. No, 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 no. We're not getting that. Let's see if we can actually get a heat of a moment. Heat of the moment proposal. I've never done that. This is quite funny. Uh, romance. Heat of the moment proposal. Don't reject her. Don't reject. Oh, he's not rejecting her. Cool. Oh, he's liking that. Well, seeing that we're doing this whole kind of spur of the moment thing. I think they're gonna get they're gonna elope elope immediately because you know this is like going to Vegas and getting married at Vegas because you're both drunk except they're not drunk oh this is quite funny only in the sims can you get married meet somebody and get married within like 10 minutes of meeting them because it's not really something you want to do in real life yeah, we're only four minutes in the episode, and you know we've got a wedding. Oh, I wasn't planning for Amber to get wet married. Uh, out on my shot, whoever you are. Yeah, I really didn't man. I didn't mean for them to get married, but there you go. Is that Marcus Flex. Yes, it is. 
Can we get married before the event finishes? Yeah, I think so. Okay, they're moving in together. Um, so who have you got? Gavin Richards, Zoe Patel, Mitchell, and Jay Huntington the third. Well, we've got Mitchell. And Mitchell is not bringing any funds with him. Which is fine. I mean, I could be cheaty and bring all of them over and then move them out and bring all the funds, but that doesn't make... I'm not going to do that. Uh, Mitchell's now at home. Okay. Oh, but she can't go home because of the city invite. Yes, we've finished the... Who are you? Fo fo Who's he? Oh, Victor Feng. Except Victor isn't the celebrity. It's Brittany Cho. Alright, go home, Amber. Go home. Where's everybody in white? Are you supposed to be in white at the romance festival? Okay, I also remodeled the house. So I added on, I changed everything around. So I moved the bedroom over. No, I didn't move it over. I put in, I chopped off a bit of the bedroom to make a corridor. The kitchen's now in the back. The front is the living room. You enter the, um, the flower arranging room from the side and it just gives them a bit more space and a bit more options when it comes to expanding. So now the house is, is really a nice little house. Oh, okay. Newlyweds, we'll leave you to what you're doing. Mitchell, I don't even know how you're younger than Amber. How much younger? All right, he has 89 days before he ages up and she has 80. Oh, he's only a day younger. I don't even know what he, what traits he has. He's a bro, he's lazy, he's creative. Oh, I have the um slice of life mod. I think I may have mentioned this last time. So that gives you talents. So he's creatively talented. He's gregarious, he's outgoing, he loves family sims. And hates animal lovers. This has to be from the Slice of Life mod. Okay. So, yeah. Loves good personalities. That is from Slice of Life. And hates animal lovers. Yeah, and she's also creatively talented. So, yeah. Those are from the Slice of Life mod. Alright, things need... Did I see it yet? The... Okay, we know. You, you're married and you like it. Repair the toilet. We're back to normal life. We don't have enough money for a honeymoon. We have 49 simoleons. Do we have anything that we can sell? No, I think I sold everything and then remodeled the house. So we have nothing. I don't even think we can make... Uh, no, we can't even make any flower arrangements. So we're going to have to go out and, you know, do some stuff. Is there not a sink in the kitchen? Yes, there is a sink in the kitchen. Why do they always leave the sink in the bathroom? Leave the sink in the kitchen to go and, and use a sink in the bathroom. That makes no sense to me. I'll put some more planters around the house. Because it looks, they look pretty. So we have the conservatory here with the, with the room. And um, I moved the pond over. Extended out the back. So it's quite a simple little house. It's still, still very, very homely. Just a tiny bit bigger. All right, let's see if there's anything worth um, harvesting. No. Uh, out of season. 
out of season. It's not summer yet. How many how many more days? We've still got about a week before we get summer. Harvest all. Oh, were you in bed? Oh, sorry. Sorry, Amber. I didn't realise you were in bed, but we need to make some money. Oh, does Mitchell have a job? He does have a job. And you need to prepare food. So, okay, you that can be your job from now on. You can cook. Um... Cook. What can we cook? Scrambled eggs with bacon. So Amber, right, you've got level six in the gardening career, which is good. Because we need to reach the top of the gardening career. We need to spray that for bugs. Spray area for bugs. Oh, you couldn't do that before. Does that include that as well? Or the bugs from that particular plant? Okay. Alright, so Mitchell, you're cooking. Oh! What? What's happening with this? That's a bit random. Let's put that away. No. <laughs> okay, I know you're both tired. Um, sleep. And you sleep. We're not going to woohoo. Oh, it's raining again. A new skill day, that's okay. But get their skills up. Do we have the recycle bin? No. Let's see what we can sell. Um parsley. Sage. How do you make a garlic braid? I keep meaning to find out. Do you have to buy them? Because I think it did say you can turn... Oh, you need a tra... Oh, we don't have a trash can? Really? Ah, okay. Um, I think we have enough for a trash can. I really want to get that one. <laughs> What's the cheapest one we can get? A child size waste basket? No. Can we get any of the outdoor ones? What are they? Oh, oh these are mailboxes. So if I put in trash cans, why is it showing me mailboxes? Well, we should really change the mailbox. Where is the mailbox? Do we not? Oh, oh, there it is. Uh, sell that. And... Actually, the accent of the house is blue. Let's get a blue one. Right, we were looking for a trash can. Outdoor one? That one. And we have ten simoleons. <laughs> And there should be nothing in the mail. Okay. 
What time do you go to? Oh no, you start in two days. We need to get something for you to do. Um, well, you're creative. You're a creative person. Start writing. Write a genre book. Write a children's book. You're not cooking. We want you to write a book. You can start writing books and making royalties and get money that way. Because it doesn't cost anything to start writing a book. And Amber, you are... Okay. Anything else apart from hungry? And your hygiene. Okay, take a shower. Time to get up, Amber. Take a shower. And then you can serve... Open. Six days, okay. <laughs> and then you can get some breakfast. So if you leave it out... Oh, okay, so if it's in the fridge, it will last for days. If it's out, it will last for hours. Which makes sense. Open. So I put it back in. Six days, yeah. That definitely makes sense. Let's put this on two speed. Right, Mitchell, how far are you getting with our book? Not too far. Right, go get leftovers. Okay, no, you're good, Mitchell. You're good. Why do you... Why are you sitting on the bed, Amber? You've got a perfectly good table. Do I need to bring it out? Maybe you can't sit at it. Maybe there's not enough space. So let's do that instead. Or you just want to be next to your husband. Uh, can we name your can we we should change your name to Kalani McDonald All right Mitchell he's done his new skill Amber you need to get a new skill how far are you with your gardening skill you just you just went up didn't you with the gardening skill Yeah. So that's going to take a bit of a while. Okay, maybe if we got you... What books do we have? Because nothing else needs fixing. Um, open. Do you have any skill books? I don't think we do. Nope. But you do have to spend an hour every day gardening and... Oh, we've got lots of stuff to do in the garden. So... What's supercell? Okay. Harvest mushrooms. Harvest all. Alright, get rid of harvest mushrooms and harvest all. Let's see if we can get your gardening up. And also we need to weed all. So you started about quarter past eleven? You're definitely going to get an hour outside. And the garlic. I don't know how to make the garlic braid. I'm going to have to do a bit of research with that. Is that weeding? Oh, okay. You've got some kind of weeding super vac thing. Alright, so Mitchell's finished his book. So, let's... 
self-publish. And you're hungry, so you can go get leftovers. Did you finish what you were doing? Yes, you've weeded everything. Did I see... F oh, here we go. Spray... No. Spray area for bugs. How much have we got for your, your gardening skill, Amber? Gardening... We're now 46% complete. We need a low-level skill to get... Um... to bring up because the higher ones it takes longer to get there and we just want something so that you you get new skill day right, did you get something to eat yes you did and you're using the table awesome oh amber i thought you just used the bathroom we'll look for frogs anyway Okay, we get it. You need to use the bathroom. You don't want to look for frogs. That's fine. Alright, let's see what we can sell. Um, no, Jack, we don't want to hang out. Could sell the sage. Could sell the carrots. We can sell the parsley. And the mushrooms. Okay, not too bad. I think we have enough to make a flower arrangement. Make arrangement, begonia. Um, let's do romantic rouge. I think that would be a nice one, and I'll probably get you a nice return as well. Right, what are you doing with... Oh, you're watching TV. You can write another book. Oh. Well, yeah. Okay. How much are you almost finished? Are the flowers making you sneeze? Well, that's pretty. Ah, uh, sell. 518, that's not too bad. Okay, so now you can go use the toilet and have a shower and take a shower. Use the toilet and have a nap. And Mitchell, what are you doing? You age... No. Did you get a skill, though? You still haven't gotten up a skill. But we can now buy a skill book if we wanted to. She's creative, right? That's what Slice of Life said. She's creatively talented. Cooking, painting... Let's... Let's get an easel, and let's get you painting. Because that is another easy way to get money. So this is the cheapest easel that they have. And also, we should get a bonsai tree. Put it in the corner of the kitchen, as you do. And can also get your gardening skill up. Alright, so Amber, you need to do all of that and take a nap and then you can come and paint. Oh no, we don't have... Do we have... Ah, uh, we don't have enough to make a painting. Okay, so the bonsai change pot colour. Blue. 
and prune shape symmetrical that's the one you get up and Mitchell you are writing you're just powering through these books which is good let's put it on three speed because all they're doing is writing and sleeping Okay, oh, he's he's powered through the levels. Right, Amber. Oh, it makes you focused. I didn't know that. No, well, but that's pretty good. And even though she's, um... She's got a husband, she's enjoying the solitude, which is cool. Alright, Mitchell, you've written another book. Can you... I think you can sell to publisher, can't you? Yes, good, good, good. That means we get more money per book. Alright, so have you... Go serve dinner. What's the cheapest one? Garden salad. Amber, we need to find a skill for you. Um, you could try writing a book. Because you're also creative, so it shouldn't take you too bad, too long. Who's that that's calling you? Jay Huntington the third. No, he's not partying. Mitchell's just powering through skill levels today and Amber's struggling. She can't get through a skill level. There you go. Finally. So what's, oh, that's the garden salad. How much lot oh you've got ages before you finish this book. You don't write as fast as your husband. But you know, that's not too bad. Alright, yeah, writing is pretty fast to level up through. Nothing to do on the plants today. Because you've done that already. And are you going to finish this book before we finish the episode? You're very... Oh, yep, yeah, you have. Alright, before you go and eat, come, publish the book. Publish the book, then you can go and eat, then you can go and sleep, and we'll finish the episode. Uh, grab a serving. We'll have to see if we can afford to get more cupboards because we didn't get that many cupboards. Okay, so I think we are going to leave it there. Everybody's new skill day was successful. I mean, Mitchell had a brilliant new skill day. Amber learned a couple of things. And today's shocker, we had a wedding, which I wasn't expecting at all. So, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed what you have seen so far. Please like, comment and subscribe. It means so much to me. And I will see you in the next episode. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.